here now we have all believers from all ages. Death appears to be suspended so that they can live. Christ is ruling on the earth. And we've got kids that are taking place that are gonna give us all these people. Now the question is, how could those people be deceived? Does that kind of blow you away? Christ is reigning on earth and you don't believe in Christ? The devil is bound and you don't believe in Christ? How does that work? That baffles me to think about how that could work. Well, let me give you some biblical examples. Do you remember the first time Jesus came to planet earth? Don't you read the gospels and you're like, how do you guys not believe? And yet they don't believe so much they kill him. And Jesus is walking on planet earth. So if you got in your mind, well, if Jesus just showed up here in person, it would change everything. Well, it would change a lot of things, but it wouldn't change everything. So biblical example one, Jesus was on planet earth and they didn't all believe then. Jesus is reigning in the millennial kingdom and they didn't all believe then. Number two, Adam and Eve in the garden. I mean, it's perfect. It's the garden. It's eat whatever you want to eat. It's your husband and wife. It's perfect. Everything's great. Yet the ancient serpent comes and deceives them. So right in the beginning of the Bible, we have people that are there and they're around the things of God, but they don't trust God. You think about the un unfaithfulness of the Israelites. I, I'm, no, I'm no rocket science, but man, if I'm gonna follow a pillar by, of cloud by day and a pillar of flower by a flower, a pillar of fire by night, I'm gonna believe. If my leader goes into a tent of meeting and comes out with a glowing face, I'm not gonna be like, oh, that must be Clinique. You know, you know? I'm not gonna do that. I'm like, I believe, where do you wanna lead me? And then we got quail and we got manna and we got water coming out of a rock. I probably would have, but I hope I wouldn't have. I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna take my manna and I'm gonna say, I'm following God, much less to go through parted Red Sea. But yet what do the Israelites do? The whole Old Testament or a big chunk of it is about them not believing, not believing, not believing, seeing God, seeing God, seeing God, not believing. Think about Judas at the Lord's, at the Last Supper. How could you be sitting at dinner with Jesus? and betray him, and then walk into the garden of Gethsemane and go, that's the one, and he goes to the cross. Wow, incredible, incredible thing. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.